Hi there, I'm Michael Giblin with FiddlerShop.com and this is a tutorial on our group project for Let It Snow and this is on the fifth violin part. So uh, thanks so much for taking part of this and for playing the fifth violin part. Um, there are, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play it through for you and then I'll go after, after that I'll go through and kind of talk about some of the pointers. Uh, so uh, I'm going to get my little earbud, my little click track going. And uh, that's, it's gonna be really important when you record, make sure you are playing with the click track. I like the click track that's just called, it says for all parts. Um, it has a longer intro uh, to get started. So I'm gonna get that going. And this is what the fifth part sounds like. Two, one, three, two, play. All right, so let's talk about some of the keys to success here. Uh, basically, the big overarching thing is the eighth notes are swung. So just think about um, how you would sing it. You sing, oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire. So that's very important if some people are playing straight eighth notes, oh, the weather outside, but the fire, it's, it's gonna be a big old mess. So make sure we swing our eighth notes. It's only applies to the eighth notes, the quarter notes, the half notes, everything else stays put as it is. The second big overarching principle is let's try to sustain the long notes, the half notes and dotted dotted half notes when they are, um, so that there's not these big gaping holes of weather outside, frightful, <gasps> but the fire, or, and, um, it's in places like measure six where you have sustain this. So it's not gap, you know, like that. So um, that's sort of the beauty of playing violin is we don't have to take a breath. You can just kind of sustain uh, longer. So yes, there's times when it's nice to take a breath and, and there's some where they, it is marked, but if it's not marked with a rest, um, try to sustain and keep the sound going. Um, a couple things, now smaller things, is that the bowings are a nice suggestion, but if you want to change them, if you want to do something that's more comfortable, feel free. If you want to change the fingerings to whatever you want, uh, feel free. It's not a really big deal. Um, when we get going in like measure, so going from measure three, this is, I'm, it's like, it's nice to play four there, uh, but you don't have to, you can play open string if you want. I go four, four, three, 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 and then just shift down, or going three, three, that's all I'm talking about. Now here, this is B flat, so this is gonna, your first finger has to move from E natural to B flat, so just be careful about that. Um, and then in measure five, it does, it implies that there's two up bows. Up, up, and sustain. This is the note that I'm kind of mostly talking about, sustaining in measure six. So from measure five again. Yeah, this is all swung. And especially there too. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <clears throat> don't, we don't want this big hole there. 
all pretty much the same. Um, and then we get around, let's go from measure 15, so we Um, at the time of filming this, there's a C that's in third position. If you want to do that, that's um, great. Um, but you can also just play the C that's an octave below that where you just came from. I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense voice leading wise. You want to go. Um, but a different part has that F. So it's just sort of, it's a little bit of an odd uh, what we call that voice leading of you think it's going here, but it actually goes here. So I would just go And then here the pickup into the next section It's okay to play open E strings. It's just make sure your violin is in tune. That's the only thing I ask um, So all I ask of you is make sure your violin's in tune if you're gonna play open E to switch back to fourth finger there because we're going to keep crossing over to D string and then so this is a nice little like try to stretch it out try not try to see the longer phrase here that it's not like da, 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 da. I know it's it's a uh, not very musical playing with the click track but try to you know come down a little bit This is a nice measure, measure 22, is you can bring this out because it's a nice moving like da da dee dum, um, because the melody, because it will really hold me tight. They're not doing anything interesting. So the inner voices, this is like inner voices gold. This is what you live for. <laughs> not what you live for, but. That's really cool. That's a nice little da da yeah. Um, uh, this is tricky, 24. These are all swung, except for the quarter note. And then it's also tricky not to end up too far down in, in the bow. So kind of, you can save a little bit of bow when you get to that quarter note. You can sort of lift. I didn't talk about it at the beginning, but it's sort of nice. What well, side is frightful? It has a little, it's just a little, you can do a little. If you want, don't worry about it. Um. This is all pretty much the same. Here is when we're getting into like 32. There is a quarter note rest, so that's so good. Rest. And then here is a little bit of a of a choice I think you should make is just lift a little bit before we play the last two notes. And we're gonna play the last two notes short. Um, it's sort of just a little cute little pop pop. Ending. Actually, and I didn't mention that too, back in 16, those, those two notes are also good to play short. It's sort of just a little, yeah, funny bop be bop be bop kind of thing. So the last, let's do the last line again. So that's uh, basically the, the, the premise. Those are the little, I think, little uh, danger zones to watch out for. When, and, and then just back, zooming out again, big picture, when you're recording, try to um, get your, your instrument and your face all in the frame, kind of like how you see here. Um, try not to be this person that records like here and I can only see your mouth moving, or don't be the person that's like, so far back that we can't, and we can't like see who, uh, see you or, you know, it makes it editing all together. Uh, the last thing is try to um, leave a little bit of recording space at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video, just like, you know, three or five seconds uh, so that uh, editing it makes it easier. It doesn't like, we don't have to 
jump in uh, or cut you off if you cut off too early. So uh, that's that's that. That's what I have to say. Hope that was helpful. We look forward to having you as a part of the group. Thanks so much for doing this. I think it's really a, a fun thing to do, and it's it gives you something nice to work work on and work towards. So happy practicing. We'll see you uh, very soon. Thanks. <laughs>